before we go, we must be still. Most Christians at some point in their faith and in their walk with God are ready to go and save the world for Jesus. And while there is nothing wrong with this sentiment, we must ensure that we take time daily to recharge and refill our spiritual tanks before we go and take on an unbelieving world. The world is full of unbelief, half-truth, deceit, skepticism, misdirection, straight-out lying, and people taking advantage of others. No wonder so many do not want anything to do with a peace-giving, sin-forgiving, life-restoring Savior. It sounds all too good to be true, but it is true. And it is up to you and me to spend time near to that source of love and hope and grace so that as we do go and face the world, it will be Him, that is God, Jesus through us, whom they see and not our own shortcomings or imperfections. Therefore, we must make sufficient time each day to be fed by God's Word. Serve each other out of love in spite of how they may treat you. Become a better version of you as you learn to depend on God's strength rather than carry on in dependence to your sin. Remain close to your Savior. Go to Him daily so that you may be more like Him. Seek Him daily in your Word, in His Word, reading the Bible, in prayer, in communion with other believers, and God will take care of everything else you may still need. But I'm too busy, you say, well, I don't have a moment to spare. Sure you do. How about praying when you're in the shower, using the restroom, eating a sandwich, right when you're getting ready to go to sleep? No need to close your eyes. Just speak with Jesus. How about listening to His Word or online message, maybe even this devotion, some Christian music while you drive, when you take a break at work? There is time. We just need to make intentional and be intentional about setting time aside. And just make it happen. Trust me, you will not regret it.